A very different kind of water concern here in the valley drainage, you know, continues to be such a major issue. An improvement project now planned for the main floodway in Harlingen. As Christian von Pricing reports, residents can have a say. From where it ends to where it starts, these are the main arteries for the valley, the Rio Grande and its two main floodways. As the water continues flowing, sediment builds up, and that sediment can be a problem. For a part of the valley that's felt an unequal share of the flooding problems this last year, this meeting in Harlingen could mean something new to the flooded streets, the lost homes, and the people who've had it. Bad. <laughs> people like Lupe Navarro. He says this summer they got flooded, and the summer before, the same thing. Eight inches inside his home, some things lost. So I called FEMA, they couldn't help me. Last year, June again, we had more flooding. And the region is flat, is the Rio Grande Valley. Getting the water to move at all is a tall order. The main floodway that's part of the key to drainage is owned by the Federal International Boundary and Water Commission. Many city and county drainage systems end up draining into the Arroyo Colorado, Part naturally occurring, part man-made. The arroyo is key to getting water out. More than that, it's just a peace of mind. If you wonder that all these years that there have been projects proposed as far as uh, flood remediation or uh, uh, alleviation, whatever the term is, it hasn't happened. The decision now is what to do with the arroyo in Harlingen. Vegetation keeps growing at the edges. And over the years and during big flood events, mud has drifted into the arroyo's bed. Experts say accumulation of mud slows down the flow of the arroyo. Our hydraulic models and actual measurements of the arroyo when there are high flows indicate that you know, there, is, there is a restriction to flow. The IBWC says those same models could flow faster. The options now are four. Those include building more channels, removing more vegetation, and pulling out more mud. All with pros and cons, or the option of leaving things the same. More action, more of a way that people can go and do research. The public is invited to comment on what will happen next. And you can submit public comments for the next 30 days after tonight's meeting. The information is right here, and we'll have that information on our website, krgv.com. In Harlingen, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 10.